Hi, I'm ready to order. Yep. Yes, can I have one MTV News, please? Extra funny. <laughs> of course, that's the only way we do them. Okay. After losing over two stone, rumours are abound about Sophie Kasai undergoing surgery to help her reduce her weight. We got the inimitable lady herself to put the issue to bed. Oh, okay. That explains all this stuff. I have obviously lost two stone and I've dropped four dress sizes. That didn't happen overnight. I was doing these MTV videos whilst I was training and everything, but then now, everyone thinks I've had liposuction. One thing I can promise you, I have had no tummy tuck, I've had no liposuction, nothing like that. I have a scar on my bum because last year I went to Mexico. And when I was in Mexico, I had a little spot. It's disgusting, but this spot then turned into an abscess. Then I had to go to hospital and I was under a drip. That abscess then got infected. It was drained about one litre of pus. It's disgusting. So the wound is open, so you're walking around with a big gaping hole. So I had two holes in my arse for once, and then now it's just turned into an absolute awful scar. I could Photoshop the scar, I could get rid of it, but why should I? It's part of us. Kim Kardashian takes aim at Lamar Odom over a comment about Chloe. <laughs> I wonder what was said. Oh, it says on the auto queue. Lamar appeared on BET's Man Cave and was talking about how he still has Khloe Kardashian's name tattooed on him. Here comes the shade. He said, I mean, her initial's still on me for no reason. I understand when it's over, it's over. Wait a second, where's the shade? When she was with her second or third NBA player, I could see that. Oh, okay, there it is. But as we know, the Kardashian clan can't cope with crass cusses, so cut to Twitter, where Kim K fired back. She tweeted, or second or third brothel. Oh! I get it because of back in 2015 when Lamar collapsed in a brothel in Las Vegas and was fighting for his life. That seems harsh. But as Chrissy Teigen put it, GAM! But that's not all Kim's been up to. She's also explained her cryptic Louis Vuitton post after it convinced fans she was teasing a baby name. Turns out she just wanted to take a picture of LV. But that's not all Kim's been up to. She also broke apart everyone's Kylie was her surrogate theories after some eagle-eyed fans noticed Kylie's due date was strangely close to that of Kim K's surrogate. Turns out she's just used a gestational carrier, a woman who carries a baby that the mother has no biological relationship to. But that's not all Kim's been up to. Oh no, wait, it is. Sorry. Videos of the Tide Pod Challenge have been banned by YouTube in an attempt to stop people from eating laundry tablets. If you haven't heard already, here's the full story. People won't stop eating laundry detergent. Oh, what? That's it? The website College Humor published a funny video starring Rob Gronk Gronkowski called Don't Eat the Laundry Pods. And yet somehow teenagers started doing exactly the opposite in a new YouTube challenge. Now, before you rush off and join them, let me break down the pros and cons of eating washing machine chemicals. Cons. They are washing machine chemicals. They can cause horrible burns in your mouth and throat. They will cause permanent breathing difficulties if they enter your lungs. Eight people have died from eating them since 2012. Pros. They are colorful. I'm kidding, there's no pros. 39 teenagers have misused the pods in 2018 alone. And so in a move to stop the trend, someone at YouTube has finally decided that videos of children literally poisoning themselves is not okay and should be banned. I'll leave you with a quote from mega company Procter & Gamble, the makers of Tide Pods. Laundry packs are made to clean clothes. <laughs> they sure are Procter & Gamble, they sure are. Hey, was everything okay with your meal? Well, Honestly, it didn't have enough laughs for me. Ooh, I'm terribly sorry, but you're wrong. It was hilarious. Get out of here. All right, okay. Sorry, then I'm off.